Right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to JM Farming. If you're new around here, my name's Josh. I work here at Northwick and uh, we make videos twice a week about what we get up to. Today, we've got a little loader on demo. It's a cast loader. It's a uh, model number is a 23T. Is it? That... No idea what that means, but it is a tiny little loader. It has got a telescopic boom on the front. Um, and we'll have a look at that in a bit more depth in a minute. Um, so I've got to do some stuff with the little forklift first. I need a pallet of stuff moved um, for feeding. But um, what we'll do is we'll do what we need to do with the forklift first and we'll take that down to feed the calves because my bucket has currently got the brush attached to it. So that is not ideal. So what we need to do with the little forklift, which if we get on well with that sort of thing, we're sort of looking at going to something like that to replace this little master forklift just because it will have a bit more use, it will be able to help clean out um, the sheep shed and that. We are hiring a skid steer normally to do that um, and we've got one of those coming soon as well but that's what that is here for on demo. Got the forklift here, it's already running, had to jump start it because it didn't want to start. Um, we need to go move some pallets so we will do that first. Shut this door so we keep all our minerals and stuff in here. We bought dry cow minerals, but then we also bolused all the cows with a mineral bolus, so it's been a bit of a breakdown in communication there somewhere. We've got Bruce on it. So Craig said he left 300 kilos with the boom right out and 900 kilos with the boom in. Go pick something up. There's some blend. There's some, there's some silage down in the silage floor. Pick up some blend. You got a full set of weights. Yeah. You got a tow bar. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. No. <laughs> I wonder if there's enough in the bucket to feed them. Probably is. Probably is. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! That's what you got to watch, isn't it? Yeah. That's what you got. That's what you got to watch. Where do you want to go? I'll meet you down the beef shed. I need you. Very big. It's got a tow bar, full set of rear weights. Hopefully, it holds enough stuff in the bucket to feed the calves with. weird because the cab moves but the back doesn't. Look at that! Keep going! Oh, Nearly? Nearly! If you went right wide left you'd have been alright. Hello there cow. He's off! That's quite impressive! Yeah! Right, calves all look happy. Turn out the mic up here. I'll leave the bucket in here because I only ever use it down here. Right now, me and John haven't done a whole lot of farming today. We've been away to an AHDB um, new monitor farm that's been set up um, in Bude. So we went to Rob and Liz Priest uh, they've also got suckler cows like we have here 
uh, stabilizers and they've also got sheep um, they bought a new farm they've been there about 11 months i think they said now uh, so it's the first time everyone's been around there and yeah it was just nice to go away and see someone else's farm there's not been an awful lot of farm walks obviously during covid and that so really nice to get away see another farm see how someone else does it they're um quite well they're organic and they're also quite extensive in that they're lambing outside and they've still got cattle outside um, on sort of uh, mob grazing, uh, cell grazing with also bale silage in the cells as well. So really good to go and see a slightly different system than ours and how it can work. Craig's gone off to get some silage with that new little cast loader um, and bring up to these cows here so we'll do a bit of a carving update whilst we're waiting for him. Now one thing that's interesting is it's nearly the end of the day here we're all sort of getting ready to go home we've just fed the cows so the thinking behind that is if we feed them at night they'll be busy eating and then digesting their feed and hopefully they'll carve during the day. So we did that for the first time last night and they've had five calves today during the day and we had two overnight. So it sort of works, but it's not very scientific, I don't suppose. Anyway, Craig's coming up with some feed. So we will get these barriers out of the way. Here he is flat out. house I'll keep them going overnight so these guys behind me all carved overnight there's one there at the back with its sort of backside to us that is the daughter of Craig's pet cow uh, and she had a bull calf overnight we were hoping she'd have a heifer but she had a bull so her and this Hereford here that's licking her belly they both carved overnight and then there's one two three four that have carved during the day so that's good. Are you guys happy? Happy, happy? That one's pretty fresh. Still wet. Look at that one, looks just like his mum. EBay. Yes. This one here, so this is a heifer. And this is a little heifer calf, but she is tiny. I mean, he is minuscule. You right? How's your calf? But uh, she does get up and suck, and and she's perfectly fine. So hopefully she'll be all right. You can see there's we're thinning them out in the shed. Every cow now that is left to carve is now up in this shed, so we can see all of them on the camera at night, which makes life a little bit easier because um, obviously we can't see the other shed on a camera. These are still all the heifers, other than that black cow there. She's uh, she's had a couple of calves before. Craig's just taking this silage around the corner. Got two cows in here. One of them is uh, a cow that had dead twins when we started calving. And the other one is very high breeding for Yoni, so we want to keep her separate from the rest of the herd. And he's off. Yeah, so this one here, um, she unfortunately had a dead set of twins right at the beginning of calving. It's always the annoying thing about twins, they can carve early, not always live, but this one here, uh, she had a high reading for Yoni, so she'll be staying in here away from the rest of anything else that's due to carve, just because calves are most acceptable to pick up Yonis when they are young, so. Yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to, because it's the wrong bit that... Yeah, that bit moves. The only thing is, again, when you're against the wall, it goes the opposite way. What that you think. kicks out, yeah, you know I mean? so it does go away from it. I just got to go and put the grab on. Yeah. We need bales for tomorrow for small ruminants, yeah. don't we? Bring them up. And try and see what it's like with a bale on the front. The bucket is wider than them as well, it which is handy as well. You can't get yourself. The bucket's quite long as well. Yeah. So 
at the moment when I was going at the base of the silage, it's digging in a lot more than I was it's expecting. Digging. I found a diff lock. Yeah, he's on the side on the there. Side. Isn't he? So yeah. if you hold the button on the side, you don't get your diff lock. So he's on agricultural tyres, but if we, if we had one, we'd probably get him on different tyres. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, they'd spec for this one at the moment, but you know, these would be okay, wouldn't yeah. they? I don't know how long they'd last. No. I suppose you're not stuffing them. No. Because you're turning, aren't you? That's what I mean. Yeah. We'll see if we can put the gravel. See if it, yeah, see how that works. You stack bales with it. You can't lift 900 kilo up there. 300. Well, that one, yeah. Touching cloth for a bag of fertilizer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Touching cloth. Touching cloth. I don't know how the third service is going to be because it's in a. You can spend more money and have it as an electric. Oh, on the joystick? It's there. Yeah, I see he's done. And it slips, which I don't like. When I turned it on earlier, I stalled it. I didn't have any throttle on, and yeah, it stuck in and I stalled it. Yeah. Very good. I you get around here. Right. You just got to watch this bit. It, it does the opposite to what you think. Really. Weird. I've just realised. Yeah. You need to get one dry wet leg, only one, one wet, wet leg. So John Deere 2650. It's not at all like John Deere 2650. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. They've adjusted the handbrake, so that's off. That's one. Button on the dash. Oh, it's going to fall. Yeah, so it's just going to static. Forward and backward. And then hand throttle. Back one, yeah. Just take the finger, just use the back of the gun. Oh, so that's it, that's it. Flat out, you've got a bit more red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it. I think the, the bigger one is. Would you want a big one? Here or when we go, yeah. so you know, it's not for you wouldn't drive it to Rowden, you chuck it on the trailer. And Phil said it'd be ideal for cleaning out like Rowden. Oh, it will be, yeah, getting in the corners and stuff. It'll be interesting to see what it's like when you've got yeah. the dump grab on. But at least I'm leaving it here for a decent amount of time. Try it, you know. It's, it's a shame we can't. Four yeah, we'll think in the morning. Well, don't even leave it here, yeah, yeah, yeah. just dropping a little bit. Just take a weight if you see what I mean. That's it. That and that. Now if you drop down, that's it, back out. So then you just hook him on and crowd him right back and they should lock. So oh, I stalled it. it. It's hydrostatic it. and you stalled it. You can have a full cab. Unlike a Passat, the windscreen wiper can't break. Yeah, never, never stops. Never, never goes wrong on this. <laughs> yeah. You won't have to submit a miscellaneous request. And when have you, you stop submitting it? No, not yet. When you're driving it all day and you want to stop for lunch, if you turn sharp left, you've got yourself a table. You've got yourself a table. Oh, yeah. yeah I guess that's how you get in the engine, is it? Yeah. You've got to turn left to be able to get in it. No, no, both the, or both the orange bits come off. Oh, they do. Yeah, then that's you get very to, Or you, yeah. I you sit say your passenger there and then you scoop them off. I was going to say, straight. you can have a passenger as long as you're always going left hand in going a circle. Going left in circles. Yeah. But you've got a tow bar. Yeah. Tow bar, full set of weights. Torquity, what's it max left? In? Yeah. 900 feet. And to be honest, the 35, which is the bigger one, is only a thousand, so you're only gaining a hundred kilos, I think. 
and how much bigger is it? I don't know. That's the only thing. The lady who bought the 35 they had wasn't very happy. Uh, wasn't happy enough to let other people come and have a look at hers for the COVID restrictions. You know what I mean? Uh. 35 I went up to see really. Not this one. Well 33, sorry, not 23. This is one of the smaller ones. They do, there's like six or seven in the rain. Yeah, it's alright. In the catalogue which is down on the toolboxes is where the fire ranges are. I oh, wanna look at them. They do like a lawn one. So like you'd have on a ride on lawnmower, yeah. you do this one, then they do that, um, like I say, it's, I don't know how to explain, it's like you get on a cherry pick, it's like a wide yeah. agricultural tread, if you see what I mean. Almost like a balloon tyre tread. Like you'd have on the front of a 3CX. Yes, like that, a that wide, wide wider traffic yeah. jump, which is what I would call more of a handler yeah, yeah. tyre. And the diff lock, it, you've got diff lock on it, so when you push it, if you hold the red button on the side, yeah, you, if you look on the dash, look, and you press the button, the diff lock light comes on, so then you've got four wheel drive. What do you drive on normally, that one? I found the fuse board. Cup holder? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've got cup holder. It's a bit cover over that, surely. Of course, eh? For the GNT. Supplied with a rag. Thank you. Cigarette lighter? For the, for the bags, for the bags, all the bags. That's the charge of your phone. I don't know where you put your phone, man. Go on the glass. Is it all? Oh, it's metal. I guess it has to be for roll location. I guess this is so. When this is, you can still see. They thought about it for YouTube, and you can just look. Heavy dig. Oh, There's yeah. like three different modes you can oh. have it on in the higher up range. I know you want to press it. This is basic range. I'm Go going on. to press it. Go on. Then. Fucking awesome. This is basic range. Is that like a trick? Yeah, it must be. Uh, Boom. Ah. It's even got an isolator. Yeah. I don't know if you can see I, I, I guess you can't turn it off and put it on a normal spool. Well, I guess it's you can't see that one. That one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know whether that depressurizes. I think them. that's the boom, isn't it? Yeah, try the other one. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, I'll put it in float. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit sticky. I don't know whether he's meant to be like that, so if you had like a wood chipper or say, something or like on the front, brush he something. would be going all the time. Hmm. But that one doesn't. No, that's your boom. Yeah, go and see if you'll pick up a bale. We should do. Chuck him aside, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should take this back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Big boy grab on. Just me. Yeah. Right, we've had a good look at that. John's gonna go and pick up a bale, but we'll come back to it another day. Uh, I'm gonna take Gus around the wood because he's been cooped up for most of the day. But uh, what'll be interesting is we've got a skid steer coming next week as well that we always have to clean out the sheep shed. So that thing will still be here. We've got it for a week or so. Um, so we can compare the two. Because we were looking at skid steer, but then we will have to do a ticket to go on one. Um, and they're a lot of money, really, for what they are. Um, so that's sort of why we're looking at this as well. So we'll compare the two, we'll see how we get on for a week. After a week, if we think we can't live without it, and hopefully we'll find some way of getting one. It will replace that little forklift, which again, not all of us have tickets for, so 
I'm going to take Gus around the wood. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Obviously the next video after this one hopefully will be us using that machine a bit more or we'll see what we get to. We've got loads going on this week. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, that helps me load. Um, if you want to see what goes on more of a daily basis then my Snapchat, Instagram and TikTok will be on the bottom of the screen now. There will also be links in the description. Thanks again to Liz and Rob for having us around their farm today. Really enjoyed the farm walk. Um, looks like a really tidy farm. I'm sure it'll be interesting to go back and see it once they've settled in a bit more um, and done some of the work they want to do to it. And yeah, we'll see you guys on another video very soon. Cheerio.